Okay, so I think I'm done for the night. I know I'm done for the night, but I want to show you guys what's inside these three random boxes um, in the middle of our off-grid property. And um, this is something I came across the other day. These are some old ammunition boxes. Here we go. Well, isn't this just better? Just so much more organized now. Check this out. I can just pull this over here. No, nope. get back away. This actually has wheels on it, I think. I need to turn it around so I can pull it with the wheels. But anyways, get that away. There's all my stuff. That's way better. Okay. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to pull the sawmill out and uh, we're going to try to put that together. What's up everybody? Whoa, whoa, you're way back there. Or way up there. Uh, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm out here at the off-grid property. Uh, northeast Oklahoma and the foothills of the Ozarks. Um, we bought this property, if you're new here, uh, several months back. And we're having a well being drilled in a couple weeks. And uh, that's going to be exciting because once we get the well drilled, we can actually start doing some building projects out here. But right now, um, I'm going to work on... I'm going to clear some stuff with the tractor. I'll show you guys some of that. Um, this main video is just probably just going to be me out here working. Um, I don't know if I'm going to show in this video actually using the sawmill, but if it's not this video, it will be the next. i got to try to get it together first, make sure I can get it together because um, that box is pretty tore up. I don't know if the instructions and everything's in there, um, but check this out. So this is what I've been milling on, and um, I started one uh, the other day and i actually had a screw break off in there my chain hit it so i actually bought a little tool today i'm gonna try to jig that out of there um, so we can finish cutting this one yeah so uh it really it, it did a number on my chain but i got six other chains now and that one that one's good too i got two planks already cut one's the one we're going to use and i'm trying to get enough cut for a picnic table for branding the girls out here and just whoever um and that we milled out of the oak tree that we took out in the front entrance of when we when we first bought the place uh so let me let me get this little tool out and we'll all walk back over there and we'll see if we can get that screw out of there find the right one here I've actually never owned one of these. That says wood and metal. I wonder if that would be good. I might use the wood and metal in case I hit that screw. Oh yeah. All right, let's try it. So if I can successfully get this screw out of there, I'm gonna go ahead and use my $20 sawmill that my brother bought me for my birthday um, back in January. And uh, we're gonna finish milling this wood with that one since I already got it all set up. And then uh, we can go from there. pliers see if I can pull it it's the only ones I got are these ones oh look it's really starting to cool off it's only 91 degrees not bad in the shade <laughs> I'm spending too much time with this little tool I'm just gonna get my chainsaw and just try to notch a little notch out um, I can save most of the board other than that little piece and I think that's worth it just to save some time let's get this done Six hours later, we got it all out. Now we can get back down. That was in there a lot further than I thought. Whew. All right, let's try to mill this. Well, I may lie to you guys. I'm trying to get uh, 
I want to get that other one set up and get some tractor work done, but this is taking a little bit of time, but it's all right because I want to get this done. So uh, I'm going to set this little uh, $20 jig up and uh, use the chainsaw to finish this one, and I'll show you guys. Okay, well, it's uh, <laughs> a little sweaty out here. Uh, so, right, things don't always go as planned, obviously. And uh, my chainsaw, I think I flooded it, so I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit before I start messing with it again. Um, I changed the gas out on it because I used the very bottom of the gas when I filled it up. I mean, it had a little bit of water in it, so it's kind of what's kind of acting like. I drained it out and put some fresh gas in there. Um, so we'll see if that works here in a little bit. I think right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get on a tractor. I'm going to clean all this area up a little bit. I'll show you guys a little bit of that. And then when I get off there, I'm going to tinker with trying to get that um, sawmill put together. And then maybe we can go back to cutting. So we'll see how it goes. So I hope you guys are enjoying today's video. Uh, maybe not real exciting, but we're out here working and sweating. And that's always a good thing. So hope you guys enjoy it. I'm gonna finish clearing up a little bit over here and uh, it just not only makes it look better but also it's for um, snakes too that way we can actually see the snakes a lot easier than we would without all these sticks and stuff it could, there could very well easily be a snake right there looking like a stick so the more I can clean up the better for my whole family not just me uh, hey check this out so if you've seen these three random boxes in the woods because that's where we're at is in the woods uh, you're probably wondering what's inside there so i can tell you look at them take a look at them for a second so if you want to know what's inside these boxes stay till the end of the video i won't forget this time uh last couple of videos ago i said wait till the end i'll show you this uh leave me some comments down below tell me what you think they are and i know it looks like i'm sweating a bunch but i think it's this new shirt too okay now i'm sweating a bunch <laughs> it's humid and hot out here actually the humidity is not that bad it's like 55 percent in oklahoma usually it can be 80 90 percent no problem so it's not that bad uh it's almost 90 degrees and uh yeah that's what it is what it is i'm sweating uh, but anyways leave me a comment down below let me know what you let me know what you think it is um, but i'm gonna finish cleaning this up a little bit and then i'll try to get back on that saw Okay, I got pretty much the general area where we hang, where we're going to be hanging out at, cleared up for the most part, except for a little bit here and there. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can get this, uh, if I can get this uh, chainsaw to start. Okay, it wouldn't start, so let's work on this a little bit. 
Oh, there's a ripping chain that he was looking for. One for the 20 inch. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, I don't know about this, guys. I don't know about this. Okay. I'm going to get this all. I'm not going to show you putting this together because it might take me a little bit. So we'll come back. We'll either have it together or I'll be doing something else. Okay. So I got my chainsaw started. Um, I think it has some bad gas in there. I think it was the bottom of the barrel had a little bit of water in it. Dumped it all out, did all that. It's working. So we're going to try to finish that one with that saw or with that um, chainsaw mill at jig. That I'm probably going to take home tonight and work on it. It is like written in, written in Chinese, I think. I mean, it's like very, I don't know. I got the gist of it put together without the bolts. It's kind of laid out. Kind of. Super annoying. Just a hot mountain. Look at this. You got to be engineered or eat that. Okay, so let's go set up and I'm um, get my chaps and stuff back on and we'll see if we can't finish this one slab. And I'm going to go ahead before it gets dark on me. I'm going to go over here and, and uh, cut up some of these trees and push them into the woods and I'll show you some of that. One problem I'm finding with this is a fine little project, but this board is tilted a little bit. So then when I cut it, it pushed my blade out some. It made it super thin. You can see right there. I'll be able to use half of this. I'll be able to use that half, which that's probably going to be fine. I mean, it'll have to be. But it made it really, really thin on this backside. If I can flip it over, see how thin that is. So where you see it starting to break up down there, probably about halfway is uh, the only piece I'm going to get to use. It's not even worth tinkering with with this. Next one I need to get that other mill, and I could just roll this over like that if it'll stay. You can see the other, the Alaskan one. Oh, it'll feel turn. The Alaskan one. You can cut it like that. That ain't gonna stay out there without some wedges or something. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so what I've concluded with is I'm not going to be using that that little twenty dollar one anymore. I'm gonna get this other one put together because um, it's just it's just um, uh, it's too much work for it to come out not right, and that's got to do with the board. I probably should have leveled it off first. Got that two by four up there just right. This is just, it's just a fun little project. Um, and if you got a lot of y'all, <laughs> a lot of y'all thought I planned on milling my own. Well, there ain't no way. Look how bad I'm sweating doing these two pieces. There's no way I'm gonna mill it with, uh, with one of these. Um, but it's fun to use and it, it, it definitely can use it um, if you set it up right. This is like the third piece I've cut. And uh, it's just, it's a learning, it's a learning uh, process with each cut. But if you can get your two by four, your four by six, uh, or two by six um, leveled perfectly leveled and your chainsaw leveled um, you're going to cut some good pieces of, uh, of lumber for sure and uh, probably a little bit thicker the better i've got a little thin on that and a little bit of error went a long ways when it comes to that so yeah all right so i'm gonna go cut up some uh some of these trees back here push them off into the woods i just don't know i don't know about this about this table getting done this weekend it ain't, it ain't gonna happen if i don't get that uh that salt that other salt mill put together i don't know it's pretty funny though that he's like hey come get this i think it's gonna help you out a lot i think i'm gonna be doing him a favor by putting that thing together y'all leave me some comments down below let me know what you think um i think i got a little duped on this one uh my buddy brent's pretty funny though he's probably laughing right now man i'm glad i hope he gets that put together so when he brings it back i can use it <laughs> that's pretty funny but all right, I'm going to go do some cutting and uh, some pushing.
Okay, so I think I'm done for the night. I know I'm done for the night, but I want to show you guys what's inside these three random boxes um, in the middle of our off-grid property. And um, this is something I came across the other day. Check this out. So if any of you guessed um, ammunition, you're wrong. <laughs> I don't know. Let's take a look in here. Here we go. These are some old ammunition boxes. Here we go. <laughs> MREs. I bought this for uh, the family right here. That way they want to have a little snack while they're out here on the off-grid property. We got, I think about 45 of them. 15 came in each one of these. What is this one? Beef taco. I've never had the beef taco. What year are these? Should say on there. This one, let's see. Bet they're still good though. Yeah, so all three of these are full of MREs. I came across these on Marketplace and um, it's a pretty good deal. It also came with those uh, cool old style ammo, ammo boxes and uh, they're probably worth as much as I pay for everything. So I paid 100 bucks for uh, 45 MREs in those three boxes. So that's that's a really if you know anything about MREs and all that stuff That's a really good deal. And uh, so yeah, I was happy to get those So we got 45 mils out here. The girls want to come out here and try some MREs. I'll let them I'm not gonna let them try every one of them But they want to go cut through a couple of them um, when they get back out here uh, We'll definitely film that and see what they think about MREs the stuff I had to eat when I was in the Marine Corps um, You actually become uh, you actually get your favorites uh, Believe it or not, there's there's certain ones that you uh, really really like and some that you really really dislike. Um, but I'm sure the girls will absolutely love these. Also, hey, let's go out to the off-grid property. I'm gonna make you guys some dinner, and then I'll pull those out. <laughs> but yeah, so the three random boxes are just sitting out here. Um, there ain't nothing gonna get in those. They're, they're sealed tight, and uh, we've got them out here just just because. Kind of fits the theme: MREs and off-grid. So that's all I got for you guys today. I didn't get to put the uh, sawmill together. Like I said, it's like, it's literally reading like Chinese. I was like, oh my gosh, it's overwhelming. I, need, I wanted to clear some of this stuff up while I got the tractor. So I only got it for till tomorrow. And um, in the sawmill, I'm gonna probably not use the $20 one anymore. I'm gonna wait till I get that other one put together. So getting the, the table put together this weekend, it ain't happening. Unless I can get that together tonight and come out here tomorrow, then it could possibly get some of it together. So three videos and three slaps cut. Um, but I got a lot of work done out here with the tractor and all that. Um, it's actually starting to come together. And the, um, I have, um, something's supposed to be coming in the mail tomorrow for the road. And uh, if it comes in, I'll show you guys. I'll make a video doing that. That's gonna be a lot of work. Um, it's gonna be a bunch of work. I'm probably gonna be doing it by myself, um, but that's okay. Um, because I signed up for this, this is what I want, and uh, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying coming out here and uh, sweating and getting tired and doing all that. I need it. Um, it's, it's good for you <laughs> for sure. Um, you guys be proud of me though. I have not. I've uh, I've quit eating sugar. I haven't had sugar going on. Ugh, I like count it down. It's been over a week now, and uh, just one of them things. I kind of go in spurts where uh, I do things like that, but this time I'm trying to stick with it. Now I'm not. Uh, like when I say sugar, it's like I have had no sweet tea and I love sweet tea. If you guys know that's a southern thing, I guess, but I absolutely love sweet tea and haven't had that in over a week. And then all the little candies and stuff like that, I'm done away with that. So I realized real quick, you need to get in shape if you're going to be out here doing this stuff. And that's what my goal is. I'm going to try to get back into shape so I can be able to do a lot more of this uh not just in the evening time. I don't know. I've been out here in the morning too, but um, it's hot. It's hot here in Oklahoma, and you uh, need to whip yourself up into shape pretty quick. Uh, so I'm trying. I'm getting there. Uh, it's one day at a time for sure. Uh, but this is going to be an adventure. I can't wait to get the well dug. Um, just so then we haven't even, we haven't even picked out a, a home site yet. Um, but as soon as we get it done, then we get serious about. All right, let's put the let's put the shelter here because we're going to build a shelter first. Um, we don't know as far as the home yet. We don't know yet. Um, shelter's going up first for sure. When I say shelter, it'll be like the barn I got at the house with no sides. That's what I'm, I'm calling the shelter. And uh, we got some ideas on that. It's going to be a pretty good size one because I want to put a sawmill underneath it. And I want to start, I need to come out here and just start following some of these big trees um, so we can start getting those set up on site. Once we figure out where all that stuff is, we can get them set up, um, get them drying a little bit, and then we can start milling our own lumber. Um, I would like to use as much lumber as possible uh, milling wise, but that's, that's down the road for sure. Definitely not with that little thing I got. That's just a little thing to mess with. 
uh, but I definitely want to mill as much as I can um, maybe siding for the house or for the inside stuff like that um, I don't think I'm gonna go as far as like two by fours and stuff like that we'll see what happens um, be very optimistic and see uh it's a lot of work i know i know it's a lot of work and i'm up for it i think so well, i know i'm up for it uh, i'm out here doing it so <laughs> even with the sweat and all that should have dried already i've been on the tractor for about 30 minutes but i'm gonna get off here i'm gonna go get something to eat nope i'm saving the mres for the girls and brandy when they get back out here uh, i'm gonna go in town grab me something it's pushing uh eight o'clock now and uh so we'll make a video out of this and uh, if you guys uh, got any questions about anything, leave me comments down below, and I'll try to get back to them. Um, if you got, if you get a chance, go follow us on Instagram and uh, Facebook, Keeping It Dutch on both of them. We post a lot of pictures that don't make it to the YouTube, and also uh, keep eye out on my YouTube stories because I post a lot of little stories and stuff of just different things. If you guys are into that, but appreciate you guys. We love you all, and uh, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next video.